Hey y'all, welcome back to Mandy's Music Monday. Um, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to do one last week. Like, it sincerely slipped my mind. So, um, first things first, number one. David Bowie's on the cover of Rolling Stone this month. This is the February 2nd issue, and um, it took me like freaking three tries to try and find this. Mainly because um, I didn't know when it came out. So I went three days in a row, and they <clears throat> finally had it on Saturday. So I bought three. I bought one for me. I had to buy one for Bug. And then I bought one to cut up. Because I'm thinking I might, like, rip this cover off and frame it and hang it up on the wall. And it'll be totally awesome. Okay. <clears throat> um, today, I think I'm going to do um, concert etiquette. Which is ba it's basically, like, stuff that kind of is annoying or maybe, like, annoying to other people. Um... And the thing is, it's like I'm guilty of some of it. Like in my earlier days, in like my first few concerts, I was totally guilty of most of these. Well, uh, maybe like three of them. Um, so yeah, I'm totally at fault, but I've learned my lesson. And I mean, like, don't like take any offense to this because like it's all meant in good fun. There are certain things that annoy some people that, you know, don't know, annoy other people. So I've got eight of them. I actually had a list a long time ago um, when I first started doing the 90s Music Monday and I made like a big list of all this stuff that I want to talk about and I can't find it. So I had to like just, I thought of these in like literally like five minutes because I actually think I had 10, but I can only think of eight off the top of my head right now. So, um, let's just get started. Um, number one, yell a free bird. That is like the most annoying thing. First of all, it's not funny. It's not funny. Like, I don't even think it was funny back when, you know, Leonard Skinner had the original lineup and people were yelling free bird. In fact, it's freaking annoying. And let me tell you this. I have been to a Leonard Skinner concert. Okay. I've been to Leonard Skinner. They are going to sing free bird. Just because you yell it out doesn't mean like they're like, really? That person just requested Freebird. Maybe we should sing that tonight. I don't think we've sang it like in forever. They're going to sing Freebird. I promise you this. And they're freaking stupid ass drunk people that were just like shouting Freebird through the entire concert until they played it. And let me tell you this. Once they played Freebird, that song is like 20 minutes long. Like I was sitting there. I'm like, oh, yay, Freebird. And then like, you know, 10 minutes later, I'm like, Freebird. Are you over yet? Because everybody in that band has their own solo when they play Freebird, okay? And the guy that plays the piano has like a freaking three-minute piano solo. Like, I'm not even joking. And don't get me wrong, that song is awesome, but it is forever. It's forever. So just because you shout Freebird at a Leonard Skinner concert doesn't mean that they played it just for you. It's on the set list, okay? And when you shout Freebird at another concert that isn't Leonard Skinner, you just sound like a dork, Okay. It's just really annoying, and it's not funny. <clears throat> Number two, don't throw stuff on the stage. Like, don't throw your water bottle up there, because I've been at concerts where people have, like, thrown the damn water bottle, and, like, the person has, like, almost tripped over it, or it's, like, whacked them, like, right in the stomach or something, you know? Like, would you want somebody, like, they're, you know, they're playing this music for you, and you want to throw shit at them. That's, that's not cool. You know, it's just, it's like, it's annoying. Like, it's funny, though. Like, okay, if you're going to throw, like, big-ass underwear up there, that is hilarious. Because I went to a Goo Doll show one time, and somebody threw John Resnick these panties up there. And they were, like, probably a size, like, 20 size panties. So they were, like, this freaking huge. And, like, on the butt of them, it said, I love you this much. And that was hilarious. But don't throw stuff up there that's, like freaking gonna hurt him you know sure throw your bra up there throwing a bra is kind of annoying it's kind of like old and worn out throw up something cool like big ass underwear because that was hilarious um number three okay don't get that drunk okay it is perfectly fine when I go to a concert I like to drink I like to have a couple drinks but I like to remember my concert. Like when I wake up in the morning, I like to be like, oh my God, that was a totally awesome concert. I don't like to wake up in the morning and I'm like, where the hell was I last night? And why do I have a hangover? Like, that's not fun. 
like sure have enough drinks to like you know have fun but okay I went to of course it's a Goo Dolls concert okay I went to a concert and the guy that was sitting in front of me was drunk before the opening act came on and then he kept leaving and going and getting more beer okay and then when Iris came on he was like doing air drums okay he was doing air drums and he was doing um air guitar and you know like I knew all the songs, so, like, he was turning around and looking at me, you know, because he's freaking drunk, and so he's just, like, looking at everybody, and so, like, I was, like, you know, I was singing all of them, and so he turns around and looks at me, and he's, like, playing, like, awesome air guitar to me, and I'm, like, Psh, first of all, take a step back, because you look like an idiot, okay, you're trying to play air guitar, but, you know, like, the chords aren't way up here, you don't hold your, you know, like, air guitar is like this, okay, he's playing air guitar like this up here, and it's like, <laughs> no, don't do that, but when he did air drums, I was like, you're totally smashed, you know, and he was doing it during, um, did I ever say that he was doing it during Iris, and it was, like, it was hilarious, but I'm like, <laughs> first of all, I don't see the point of getting that drunk, and then, you like, you're not going to remember the next day. Like, you paid all this money. And if you're like me, you pay all this money to get good tickets. And more than likely, you're traveling out of state. Because um, Goo Dolls, you know, they only come to Kentucky, like, once a year. And any other time I've seen them, I go out of state. So I pay money for the ticket. I pay money to go out of state. And I always buy me a new outfit, okay? And then, like, you have to pay for food and gas and all that other money. Like, I want to remember it, you know? And plus, like, when... Girls get really, really super drunk. Like, that's just, like, really annoying. Like, if you're there with your girl, take care of her. Don't let her Don't let her be that drunk girl that people are laughing at, that are standing behind her and laughing. Don't let her be that girl, y'all. For real. Don't let her be that girl. Okay, number four. Use your flash on your camera. I'm really not going to say much about this because I think I've said it in another vlog. I promise you, if you, like, number one, you're going to blind them. Number two, they're probably going to tell you to stop. And number three, I promise you, you're going to get better pictures when you have your flash off. Because the lights are going to be so, like, when the lights are really, really bright, that's when you want to take your pictures. And you are going to get amazing pictures. Because if the lights are bright and, like, your flash is on, like, it whites everything out. And it's just crazy, I promise you. Take your flash off. That's, like, the best thing to do. You'll get really good pictures. Number five. Don't scream during a quiet song or an acoustic song, okay? Like when they're up there singing nice and quiet, when you yell at them, number one, you're going to like distract them. And I've been to so many shows where like people yell like crazy things and like they distract them and then they have to like start all over or they just start laughing. You know, sure, it's funny, ha, ha, ha. But I don't want to freaking hear the song. I don't want to hear you yelling at them, okay? <clears throat> And plus, I've read, like, lots of articles where, like, artists, they find that really annoying. And, like, who was it one time? It was actually Phil Collins. And Phil Collins is playing right now. Well, it's Genesis. But, um, it was, was I watching maybe Behind the Music or something? But there was one song that he would sing on his solo tour. And he said, like, so many people, it was, like, a quiet song. And, like, so many people shouted through it that, like, he literally stopped playing it because it pissed him off. So he, he was, like, over playing that song. So he just totally took it out of the set list. So don't do that. Don't do that because it's annoying to them. Um, what number am I on? Six, don't talk on the phone. Like, how, how are you talking on the phone at a concert? Like, for real. Like, how did you even hear your phone ring? Do you have it on vibrate? Because I put my phone on vibrate, and when my concert is over, I've got, like, six missed calls because I'm, like, so into it. I don't even hear the, I don't even feel the phone vibrate. Like, I mean, you all must be, like, hardcore people, you know? And, like, I've seen people, and they're, like, they're, like, on the phone, they're, like, I'm at a concert. Can, can you hear me? I'm at a concert. I will call you later. What, you want to hear it? You want to hear it? Hold on. And they go like this. And the thing is, is, like, when you... I have been on the other end of the phone when people are like at a concert and I've even tried to call Tiffany because like I said, I'm guilty of some of this stuff. I try to call Tiffany one time and let her hear the concert. You can't hear shit because the bass is so loud that it just, it's just like in the phone. You can't tell what they're singing at all, you know, but it's like, what? What did you say? I can't hear you because I'm at a concert. That's annoying. Don't, don't talk on your phone. <laughs> um... <clears throat> this is another one that I'm technically not guilty of, but Bug is guilty of it. Like, wearing the t-shirt of the band that you're seeing. Like, if you... Like, if you're an adult, okay, we all know where we're at. 
We don't need your t-shirt to tell us we're seeing such and such. However, if you're a little kid and it's like your first concert and you're excited, I think it's the most adorable thing in the world. And like when I took Bug to see the Goo Goo Dolls, which was her very first concert ever, we, I had three of the same t-shirt of Goo Goo Dolls. So Tiffany like cut it up and made it like this really cute halter dress. And when she met the Goo Goo Dolls, John Resnick was like, I love your shirt. So it was absolutely adorable. But I mean, like we altered it. So technically it was a Goo Goo Dolls t-shirt that we turned into a dress for her. And I will put a picture of that up now. And you know, that's okay because it's our first concert and kids are excited. But like when it's an adult, like, you know, like, I don't know. It's just kind of annoying and weird. And it's like, I don't know. If you understand what I'm talking about, you totally get it. Um, uh, number eight, don't shout random shit through the entire concert. Okay. That is really annoying where, okay. I was at a concert one time and it was this girl and you know, she was like super drunk first of all. And she was there with her friend and apparently it was her friend's birthday. And she yelled every time it got quiet and she's like, it's my friend's birthday. And it's like, tell her happy birthday. It's her birthday. Through the entire concert. And I'm like, oh my God. Well, like by the end of the show, I was like, please, artist on stage. It was at a Goo Dolls concert. It was like, please, John Resnick, please tell that girl happy birthday so her drunk friend will shut up. Okay. And it's just crazy. I mean, like, come on, for real. It's just annoying, you know, and like it was, it maybe it wouldn't have been as annoying if it was something different every single time, but every single time it was like, it's my friend's birthday, only in like drunken slur, you know, like I yelled during a concert, like I've yelled a lot. And like one time I'll have to try and find a picture. I was at a Goo Dolls concert one time and me and Tiff screamed so loud through the entire thing. And one of the pictures, the dude standing in front of us, he, his fingers are in his ears like that, you know, and I learned from that. After I seen that picture, I'm like, we were probably really annoying that guy. So that's what I'm saying. I'm guilty of some of this stuff, you know, just like be aware of it when you go to a concert. Um, if I find that picture, I'll put it up now. Yeah. Every time I look at that picture, I'm just embarrassed now. And I'm, I'm sorry, dude, who had to put his fingers in his ears that me and Tip were screaming so much, but it was awesome. And we were having a good time. So there. Um, also, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is this new band that I found. Well, actually my friend Courtney, she sent, she like put it on Facebook and she's like, Oh, I think you'll really like this band. And they're freaking the shiznit and they are called the naked and famous. And they're a band from New Zealand. And they, I think they only have like the one album out, but I'm like totally obsessed with this song called girls like you, you totally have to listen to it. Like I've been listening to it since like midnight last night like I listened to it all night until I well while I was on the computer and then I went to bed and then the first thing I did when I got up this morning was I put it on again and I'm like cleaning my room and like getting ready and put my makeup and stuff on and I'm like woo, girls like you um young blood is also a really good song and then punching punching something I've only listened to that one a couple of times and that one it, it, is, it is good but girls like you is like my save right now so that is the new album that I'm going to grind soon so you should totally check them out and then what's really cool about them is they're like it's like dance music so it's kind of like foster the people because you know like I totally in love with foster the people right now. it's like foster the people not only with a chick and the cool thing is it's like the, the girl and the guy they both sing so it's like a Buckingham Knicks album I mean it's freaking awesome so okay I shall talk to you guys later.